what is up you guys crystal Cove here i just wanted you guys to hear that it sounds so cool it is of uh, part of the fortnite uh, music thing i don't know how you play it but it sounds really cool i think it's for background music actually didn't know that at first anyway today i'm going to be showing you how to get a victory royale this is my second victory royale all in all um as you can see there's a guy with some good moves don't think now anyway so this is my as i said my second victory royale for solos and it is crazy i was so happy when i did it this is the first time i've tried this tactic well not the first time it's like the first time today i tried this tactic yesterday i tried doing this thing and i played it three times i came fifth once second once and i came 12 once pretty good so normally what you should do is fly to like anywhere with no name on it and that you know is not very popular so don't go going to those even if it's got no name but don't go to those uh places where they show shadow rocks because th that will get populated a lot never and also never ever if you want a victory royale this is unless you're this is for uh players who aren't the best at playing video games so in this tutorial of getting a victory royale this is mainly for medium players i mean good players can do it if they want but anyway so never land somewhere underneath your bus never because that's just suicidal with population areas i love that dog in the background all right anyway except for digressing also always arrange your weaponry in the right places because you don't if it's all messed up, then you can't change your weapons into every different little thing. Ah, okay. So, I also normally use up all my traps at the beginning. Just put them by doorways. Normally hope for the best. Alright. As you can tell, I'm not the best player. I mean, like someone like, I mean, Ninja's like a pro crazy really good player but some like him would be like already done with the house because he's so quick also he uses computer but don't know anyway so i would no most probably not waste my time going into open areas is not the best idea i got and then as i said before waste put just put stuff up Now I heard a gunfire from somewhere outside so I just wanted to stay in this little bit here just like drink all my stuff you heard a sniper shot just uh, just pick up my weapon slowly also key is like farm as much as you can mainly in houses because it's the safest you just get tons of stuff I mean, eventually. You just keep farming that stuff. I normally just go for like all the accessories, stuff, like the furniture, as well, because if you start destroying floors and walls, people will start noticing. Right, yeah, I got really nervous then. I just wanted to put peek. There, you see, there's a guy right above like not above the car but you can see down there on the hill i don't know where he actually went i should really check in like uh the theater mode but can't really be bothered anyway so <clears throat> i just wanted to stay there because i was like really scared of not failing as you can tell already 33 people remaining i mean that was quick I've only spent about five minutes 
map. To okay, this really scared me. I thought it was gonna destroy the roof above me, but still. Okay. I got terrified. And that happened. See what I mean? You placed traps down. It was crazy. I mean, I'm so glad because nowadays they have like, they do 150 damage. Before they did it like 220 or something, and uh, so like, if this guy had full shields, he'd still be alive. I mean, I could most probably kill him, but yeah, yeah. Then I was just deciding what to change. Anyway, so that guy was from the winning fight, most probably, and I got so freaked out. I was like, oh my god, I did something for once in my life. Nah, nah, I'm joking. No. <laughs> anyway, so basically. What I did, just put all, once I got traps, just put them anywhere. Preferably above doors. Of, like, going into the building. I mean, the guy went from the roof and walked in, but whatever. So, you guys can see that traps are really handy. There, I was just messing around because, like, I just wanted to wait for the storm to come. So... Yeah, I already had one kill. There were 28 guys, 27 now, uh, guys left, including me. So 26 enemies left. I had pretty low hopes, actually. I have to be honest. I didn't know I'd get a victory rare. But, yeah, anyway. Alright, just digressing. The dog, what is it doing? He is, like, really shaking that puny tail. Man, he's got such a small tail. Anyway, so I'd advise you guys to stick to skins other than the DJ Yonder skin. Because, like, he's all shiny and stuff. And if you want to try and hide and not get seen. I mean, this thing, I wasn't trying to get seen. Yeah, I was just doing that to mess around. Anyway, um, if you're, like, bush camping, which I don't advise you to do. Also, by the way, um, I'm doing a bush camping challenge thing i'm gonna have two parts most probably to it which would be cool <clears throat> anyway so i just wanted to check myself i had 200 wood so about 224 materials all in all not that i can use that extra for well it's more than that it's like 230 something anyway so i just wanted to weigh in i mainly just messed around I'm trying to do the moonwalk. Don't judge me. The crawling moonwalk. Anyway. <coughs> then I... <coughs> sorry, my throat just... Then I heard the grappler. That terrified me. I just... Went... Yeah, I went to the right side of the wall. And I'd shoot him if he went out. Then I realised it was outside, but... I wasn't going to open the door, because I was so terrified. In this situation, I'd advise you not to go running out unless you're like a good, like a good player. Me, I'm not so good player. Such a good player. There were 20 of us left. I didn't want to mess this up, so I just waited. I had a feeling he was outside the window. Then I saw the storm. Luckily, it took one damage off me, which kind of got me annoyed because, like, now I got 99 and 100. It's not very nice. So I just waited here for a little while, not too long. Because I was like, I didn't want to die. Now that I think about it, uh, don't go too close to the wall. Because if you go too close to the wall, they can see your pickaxe slash gun sticking through. So I wouldn't advise that, but, you know, it doesn't matter. So I just waited. A bit. I was just looking where to go. I had a feeling of going into the loot lake bit. I wasn't sure. I was terrified actually. I had a feeling I was going to be dead like, by now, but yeah. So I just marked roughly around there. Now, loot lake, I don't think as many people go there now that, you know, uh, the floating islands gone and thank god because I 
don't know. Yeah, there'd be like tons of people still there. Maybe I don't know. If you, if the island was still on top, but it wasn't, so I'm lucky. Yeah. Also, never use a pet when you're trying to get a victory royale because they just make tons of noises. I mean, I don't know if enemies can hear it. I'm pretty sure they can, but you just have a dog woofing when you're trying to hide, and not get killed. You're pretty screwed. So I was just legging it across because the storm was also after me. Yeah, so I got pretty scared. I don't think the storm caught up to me. I can't remember. But no, it didn't because I had a pretty cool idea is with the ice thing I'm not very good I'm not the best player. and I just did that which kind of helped a bit don't think I should have jumped though. so then I was pretty scared at first then I realized I could use I swear as a shadow too. and then I was pretty good from there because uh, it was pretty easy going as you can tell there were some guys on my left who had a build fight I really wanted to get the grappler and the upgraded stuff but I don't want to lose my shadows down and go all the way back even though I didn't have a shotgun so this scared me bit that I might, well I would most probably fail, but you know, it's worth the risk, not really, there was one risk, so, alright, so I ran out, I didn't, ha I it was pretty good, I wanted to change my hunting rifle because it's not as handy compared to the scoped AR. That dog is really annoying me now. <laughs> I might not use him anymore. Then I saw that bush walking. That was quite funny. <clears throat> I didn't want to shoot him. I was going to go to the tree and shoot him. But I wanted to get a clear shot. Then I saw... I realised he was following another guy. So I decided just to leave it. But see where they were going. I was going to let one kill the other. <clears throat> and then... Get them to... F and then shoot one of them. I just had to make sure there's no one behind me. Which I wasn't, because I was right behind the storm. That's another thing you should do. You should make sure you're normally really close to the storm. As and when it's finished. Then I saw someone shoot it. I still don't know where that came from. I don't know if I shot it by accident. No, I didn't, actually. I can't have. But that was really, really weird. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to go on to theater mode and figure out who shot me because that was crazy so I decided just to stay there because I didn't want to risk getting shot in the face only when like it went 20 seconds and then counted till the storm came then I would have legged it I can't remember what it got up to with the dog on the back just being weird I think when you shoot also the dog gets all angry Anyway, so, got my SMG ready. I mean, it would have been better if I used my assault rifle until I got up to the mountain. But it doesn't really matter because I didn't die. As you can tell, I got 500 wood, basically. I mean, I know it's a bit more than that, but who cares? Anyway, <clears throat> so I was pretty good on uh, materials. Remember, always make sure your materials are good. So the eight of us left. I didn't want to die because I'm as you guys heard I'm not the best player in the world I'm pretty bad no, I'm not proud of that I just made sure that that bush wasn't a phony okay no I didn't wait for the like go up to 20 seconds and then run I just waited for the storm to come doesn't matter I didn't die 
So I'm lucky not to come into much more contact because my aim isn't the best. I mean, I'm good at body shots and sometimes get headshots, but it's quite rare. My luck's pretty bad. Anyway, so I went through that bush just in case there was another bush guy. Or that bush guy went back there. It's unlikely, but, you know. And remember, when you think you're in a hostile area, make sure you crawl. Or crouch, should I say, not crawl. Because when you cr crouch, you got a less chance of enemies hearing you. And normally when you're running, like, jump, crouch, keep, but obviously, maybe go in zigzags if you want. And then there's less chance of someone sniping you. That's another good tip. <clears throat> anyway, so... I was just looking out, making sure that no one killed me. And that's what you guys... Or no one kills me from behind. Or ambushes me. That's what you guys all should do. You should make sure that there's no one behind you. Unless there's like... Massive area, then it's pretty hard. But still, look around. Don't stop looking around. Keep moving a little bit. Like I am. Not like crazy movements. So just... Make sure. I just wanted to see what that post looked like, but I can't see it from there, unfortunately. The dog. Just saying, but the dog was a big distraction. Anyway, yeah, I nearly fell off the cliff, guys. Make sure you don't do that. That I feel suspicious. Like maybe there's a guy in that bush by the golf cart. So, and another thing you guys should do: make sure you know where most or all of the enemies are. So I had a feeling there's one in that portal fort, one where it showed building, obviously, maybe one there as well. That would count up to four. But I had a feeling that they basically all be in tilted. Maybe a couple one, including me, because I wasn't. <laughs> all right, so. I'd advise you guys in this situation, if you're a more of an aggressive person and you know you're like a really good player, then you can build and fort or go charge him. But someone like me who's a middle player, yeah, I didn't plan on doing that. Anyway, I had, I swear I heard some, well, I saw building behind me, so I just built. I don't want to risk getting shot, so I just legged it. I'm sure there was someone behind me, but I don't. I never saw that guy in the end, or girl. That was really scary, so I'm, I'm also checking that on the theatre, because that was crazy. Then I saw another guy to my left, so I knew there was a guy there. I had a feeling there was a guy behind me. This is some weird glitch. There was a guy on that mountain earlier. And I had no idea where anyone else was. But just always keep moving. Even if there's little movements. Stay close to the storm as much as you can. Or just go to the edge of the circle as quickly as possible. It depends on what you want to do. Now there, I nearly died. I nearly went in there. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't have died. I would have had 49 health, but... I most probably would have died because I would have kept running. So that place was crazy. So I had a little feeling there was someone in there. Then I heard another trap go up. Now I was terrified here. <clears throat> but we, what you guys should do is never get too scared. I mean, obviously get a bit scared. Then I saw the trap there anyway. But just keep your cool a bit. <clears throat> Make sure you don't mess up. Or, like, just don't go shaking, because I was, like, shaking. I mean, you guys can't tell here, because sometimes I just, like, took one hand off. But <clears throat> I was terrified. Then I heard the building, but I didn't know where that came from. I think there was someone above me. Or from, like, my right or something. So, in this situation... Normally, I'd advise you to go up, but then I thought there was someone on top of me, so I decided to just stay down here. Leg it to the circle about roughly 
Actually, no, I didn't eat it like that, did I? Don't know what that was. Someone parachuted off. And they went right behind me. So he got no shots on me. I legged it. I was like, nope. I hit him, or her. I hit her a bit. Just because I'm saying it about the skin. Then I just wanted to... I just ran off because I was too scared. I didn't want to, like, die or anything by messing up. So I just ran. <coughs> so I just stayed by the stairs. It's the safest option for... It was the safest option. I could have gone up. But I wanted to make sure I knew where he was, and there could be someone above me. It's quite risky to be honest. So I was in pretty bad luck. Then there were four of us left, three enemies. I had one kill, but I was still terrified. I mean, one kill doesn't mean much, but, you know. <clears throat> there are two enemies left. One enemy left. I was... So scared. I didn't know if someone was above me or behind me. So. I decided I had no choice and I'd have to go. So I, I just slowly did it. Unfortunately it sped up. The storm. I didn't want to build or anything because I didn't want to hit my opponent away. There's someone to my left. I saw them. Or her. I think she was the one I shot a bit before. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I got on the storm a bit. And it was not very nice. I just kept building like this. I was so scared. Now, I don't want to get like... <clears throat> oh yeah, this I messed up actually. I don't want to get... I could have done that like... This slow, but... <clears throat> you can... Like, make it really secure, but I don't want to do that. Because I want to get up to it. I was terrified here. It's crazy. You see, I got that headshot on that end bit. I should have healed, maybe? It would have been safer. I, was, I wanted to build up, because he had no That, that right there. I was going to do an emo, but then I messed up. I pressed the wrong thing back, so. Anyway, so, as you guys can tell, that was really close. Got the victory royale. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Just remember these tips.